Welcome back, Pokemon Fanatics. I am Vcount Kadub, and this is the Pokemon Trainer Gauntlet. We are finishing the male Pokefan team from the Great Ball of the Poke Cup. They got this far. Clearly, they have some kind of metal with them. I don't know what it is. They're a terrible team. They're totally slow. But they got here. They managed to defeat the Poke Cup all four rounds, and now they're in the Prime Cup. Let's see how Battle 1 goes against Last Terry. So we have to take out that uh, Ampharos. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have to take out the Azumarill as well. It's basically the elemental ones that are the problem. Now, Azumarill can cast a tract, and that could be evil. In its own right. And of course, Thunder misses. Some of our awesome luck is happening right now. Azumarill is setting up for return. And Thunder missed again. Now to offset this terrible luck, I am going to swap out. It'll be Dewey, because he can take a return, he can take a serve, just fine. I mean, really well. And he can outspeed. And they're both the same gender, so a track won't work. All I can hope to do is lower my defense. We take those. Love a crit critical hit. My defense is going to shambles. Oh, wow. Quick claw. I was going to say, like, we're going to win this bout pretty quickly. All right, the first to fall. Azumaro. Okay, Wigglytuff has Body Slam and will use it. So we gotta get rid of those uh, defense debuffs. Swap out for Napalm. Not really a problem. Wigglytuff can't do anything. I mean, she's running a disable set. Protect, disable, sing, and body slam. Ostensibly, it really doesn't make sense. I mean, you got two different statuses. And then protect and disable. I don't know. It seems like she really limited her capabilities here. So I gotta assume that Fire Blast will not be working because it's gonna cast Disable. Oh, but Quick Claw. Hey, we'll take it. There goes Fire Blast, but that's okay. We could have Rock Slide. Actually, it's kind of hard to tell who did go first. I think Napalm still has that Bitterberry. So, no, he didn't have the Quick Claw. Cosmo has the Quick Claw. Chuck some rocks. Oh, man. It's going to take forever. Turn one. You're not going to feel a thing. You're going to run out of protects pretty soon, I'm sure. Sleep two. Okay. Maybe a big body slam. Oh, no. Mod slap. Are you kidding me? 
Ah. Macargo's attack power stinks. Got it. I understand that now. You may lambast me in the comments. I should have gone for by Sam. I don't know what I was thinking. Great. Finally a weak spot. Alright, the water type is gone. Let's see what she has left. Alright, Togetic. Fly, Swift, Double Edge, and Safeguard. We got this. Napalm can survive. Stab, Rock Slide. Great damage. Not afraid of the double edge. Nice electrical extra damage. Macargo's attack sucks. I know that. But hey, it did itself in, so. Double edge, double edge sword. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, not only does this team not have the speed, it doesn't even have the power behind it. Even Lantern's special attack and defenses aren't even that good. It's just its typing that keeps it in the game. Lickitung needs to set up. Alright, so... Black Belt Yang is usually a very easy team because he'll opt for Wobbuffet if uh, what I send out first can't handle it. And he'll always use Detect first, no matter what. So, I'm going to use Dumadome to set up some spikes, just in case he wants to switch out. Now, this Nido King is dangerous. Not because it has Fire Punch, like the Pokemaniacs did. I can't poison, I just wanted to see what it would do. And it's Horn Drill. And it hits! I couldn't even get off an explosion. So, we'll just bring in Glimmer. Wash away whatever Pokemon was out. Announcer thinks we're gonna win. And we miss. But he misses. Never rule out that 30%. It hit us. On top of all the other bad luck we've had. It's just amazing how many bad luck scenarios we've been in. I'm ready to leave this team behind. Luckily, this is a quick battle. We lost the continue. Just a filler move. Thunder Wave. Don't even need it. If Imon Lee was smart, he'd opt for reversal. High jump kick is good too. But it's definitely not enough. Why do fighting Pokemon always get the short end of the stick here? Safe for Heracross. One more surf and we'll gain back some health. Back in the green zone. Even more so, because the next Pokemon has to detect again anyway. Unless it's Wobbuffet. That's a relief. Mach Punch, Thunder Punch, and Dynamic Punch. Well, you made him punchy. We got all we need to take him on, really. We just can't be hit by Dynamic Punch. 
And we were hit. Of course. Of course we are. No point in switching, because really, why? Yep. Fusion damage, hit by damage, never punch. Twice in a row. That's one half times one half times one half. So that's one eighth of the chance of that happening. Would have been one sixteenth if that one hit. Again, I realize I should have swapped out Octazuka for Surf. Nice. And I promise I will when next we use Octillery. It just won't be for a very, very long time. This Pokemon only get better and better as we move up the tree. Unlike this team, though, no, it did break the mold at all. On to the Bird Keeper. Here comes Adam. He's spoken are, pr are pretty good. Pokemon are pretty good. But half of them are susceptible to water. And five, six of them are susceptible for thunder. Two thunder. And all of them susceptible. Susceptible to Ice Beam. Okay. Well, if you're just gonna go for fly, I mean, I might as well just curse. Uh oh. Yeah, probably. It's a good idea. That's all Nurko can really do to me. Can't attract. Can't use Nightshade. Rest up. Eat up the Mint Berry. And honestly, either Body Slam or Ice Beam. It's a hard one. Got him. Pretty powerful, and we got some awesome defense going right now. Not too special against uh, Flamethrower, though. We would need to paralyze. Hey, we got it. The luck is back. That or dumb luck strikes again. Alright, something weak. Ah, oh, it's Glagger. We get four times on Ice Beam. Yeah, even Sludge Bomb only did about 40. That's the end of Glygar. And the Bird Keeper all together. Three battles down. Slow start for this team, I gotta say. It's taken them longer to beat the first three rounds than probably any other team. We're coming up 13 minutes now. Here comes cool player, cool trainer Floria. She is the hypnosis trainer. She doesn't really make use of it. She just wants you to put me to sleep, like desperately. So on um, Miracle Berry, on Opal would be great, and of course Dewey, notwithstanding, he can curse, curse up. We just can't be bringing Glimmer right away because it has Earthquake. Uh, if because 
Stantler. That's her ace. Come at and make each other. Oh, she wastes no time. Oh, there goes my mid berry. Might as well go for some paralysis here. We don't get it. Alright. First up, because we're going second anyway. Not a bad idea. Go right ahead. Not afraid of you. It would just be more daunting if she got a critical hit. That would just break right through. Look at how it's kind of like a Majin. Sometimes elemental, but just squishy defensive. Now we can take even more abuse. We just got to be able to survive through this hypnosis. And we're good. Beat him to it. Now he's like jacked. He's all set up. Let's do another. Stab return. One body slam will take down Stantler. And we'll wake up next turn. See what else she brought. Great damage, excellent. Alright, Polyrath, part fighting, has submission. I thought she didn't do it, have dynamic punch. Decent damage, well over half. I missed again. Gotta go for the body slam finish. Oh yeah. Two down. It really doesn't matter what she saved. In fact, I'm glad it's supposed to be available. Unfortunately, we're asleep again. We can take a fire blast from the fable. Did about 70. I think I got my finger on the rest button. And we don't get it, so now we have to switch out if we want to continue. Here comes Opal. Poor call. <laughs> I realize that now. Come on, let's get see an accuracy drop. Nope. So unreliable. There goes our uh, Miracle Berry. We could totally steal its leftovers, but we wouldn't live. So we'll just switch to something who has leftovers. And now that he can't be put to sleep, we're okay. Sorry, she. What will this Pokemon have on the I would normally wear this wing down, but since it really doesn't have anything to retaliate with, let's just surf. Let's get that continue. It's earned. Great. A 
And let's wrap up the ha first half of this tournament already. Surf for the win. Where are these criticals coming from? There's always like the last hit. Dewey got one with the body slam. That was nice. Yeah, just barely. That was a tough go fable. On to Battle 5 against the Fisherman. As long as he doesn't use the Dragonite, we're pretty okay. Starting with Opal, because, you know, Ice Beam. And Lanterns. Not something you want to see. I don't have an answer. The only thing I have is my lantern. With slightly more HP. And we get paralyzed right away. Isn't that just fitting for this team? Shouldn't it just be a the given? Part of the course by now. I knew that was coming. He'll almost always use Quack. Yeah, he'll also always use Quack Slam. So now I have to switch to Dewey. Because Opal really can't take it. At least Dewey can recover. Oh, he's going for Dig. I can curse. Fine with me. Oh boy. So many dynamic punches are hitting. What is this? Oh man. Oh. Well, can't keep him in. Gotta switch out. It's gotta be Opal. I know it looks hopeless, but we have stuff. We can get back. Our moves just have to hit, that's all. Okay, so Quagsire has Mystic Water. I could steal it. But I'm not going to. I just wish I had something that were accurate. All these dynamic punches hitting. Now we're confused again. Nope. I'm going to be above ground hitting myself. Yep. Second time in a row. Comes Dig. Stab boosted. So, Oct uh, Opal is barely alive right now. Let's go for Octazuka one more time. Oh, critical hit. Wow, we're somehow still in this. And we still have a lantern to take down. Of course, that's who we see next. I could still survive. I just have to switch out to Glimmer. This is my last hope. Not necessarily. I mean, if anything else faints, like Dewey will might be able to go first as long as it's a lantern. Spark is doing nothing, which is kind of a welcome. We're paralyzed. I gotta paralyze him if I have any chance. 
Beautiful. But he has a Miracle Berry. Used it up. Leftovers delete the Whirlpool damage. Critical hits. Good. And paralysis. And Whirlpool damage. Seriously. Seriously. Two war paralyses in a row. All because of speed, I swear to God. Your turn, buddy. Don't worry, I wasn't planning on it. Now I have to confuse him. Good. Alright, one in four chance, you'll move. Lucky. Luckily, the only thing it can do is spark in Whirlpool for residual damage. Another paralysis hit. Confusion is still working. Okay, let's see if we can survive. Another paralysis hit. Okay. Well, that was generous of the game. It's a free turn. Oh, good. I can act. I can actually play now. One and four. One and four. Okay, there it is. Now we can start attacking with Thunder. Got the move. Got the hit. Okay. A little under half. Another critical hit. We have no choice but to tough it out. Wow. Oh, the luck to stay in the game is real. Thunder hits. Oh my god. Ah, oh, we got Glimmer knocked out. Well, the good news is anything can now knock him out. Dude's gonna take the advantage to rest here. And this is actually good for our team. Not good for the continued sake. We're gonna dodge right through that Thunder Wave. And we'll body slam. Just for that, I hope you're only your dragon is left. I just want to ice beam it, pummel it right through. Okay, Gyarados. Rain Dance, Bite, Hydro Pump, and Twister. He's got a power of Hydro Pump. No paralysis for me. Hydro Pump one. Okay, we got the paralysis hit. Sweet. And after two, it did about half damage. Okay. Hydro Pump 2 misses. Let's just keep hammering away. We got him. Tough battle. It's really hard to take down a Lantern. I don't care what team you're on. It's pretty strong. It can really last. It's kind of like the Dunsparce of water Pokemon. Only world's better. On to the scientist. The 
Scientists of Confusion. His Pokemon are nothing but speedy. But they don't have much bulk behind them either. But it must be nice to go first all the time. I wish I knew that for you. So Napalm's going to start us off because he has the bitter berry. So hopefully, either we can body slam or we can mud slap him. Okay. Yeah, fire blast got right through. We can knock out Electro. Yeah, we knew that was coming. Okay, Electron's gone. Lucky Fire Blast hits. What Pokemon will appear next? Oh, it's Crobat! Now, if only a rock slide him down. That would just make our day. Why should we expect good things on this This reach goes through. It's like I'm four stages of attack up. Doing significant damage now. I think if another confusion hit lands, Napalm's done for. The target is weakened further. Aha! It's the view go There it goes! Okay. Robat's gone. Wow. Yeah, we might have to risk it. I don't know. Confuse race. Never certain. So much damage. One Pokemon is still capable of going up, but the other one looks tired. So, I believe we're going to switch out to purple. Because she has the miracle. Okay. That didn't accomplish much. I just noticed we have like two females on our team. Only weird, because I always use the males for higher attack. That's literally the difference. But the females can make egg, uh, make eggs of themselves. One Octazuka has to land, one surf. That time. Can't be lucky forever. Thank you for the focus band. You can't cheese your way to survival. What the heck? Oh, that would be. It's still lost in confusion. Okay, another confusion turn. I got uh, one more chance. What the heck? Again? So many turns of confusion. So frustrating. I hate this stuff. I can't say it enough. At least Glimmer has leftovers, and we're not fire spun. Trapped. One hundred percent of hitting. Coin toss to attack. Again, let's keep the confusion train a roll. I'd love to report to this scientist. Like, yeah, guess what? If you use a really slow team, you're gonna get confused, and they tend to be more confused than the faster teams. They'll be hitting themselves all day. Anyway, that's dealt with. 
And we gotta continue off it, too. Barely. Time to survive the skier team. Ice and Psychic is the name of the game here. Not one water move. We gotta be aware of that Mr. Mime, who loves to baton pass, double team. Don't they all? So believe it or not, I'm gonna start with Napalm because he really doesn't have anything to worry about. <laughs> They're ready to go. So it starts with double team, of course. It increased in evasiveness. No, already missing. The Things are already continues. Continues. Now it's Thankfully, a mud slap hits, so anything it passes along, it's accurate. The accuracy is going to be re reduced for the receiver. Ooh, two stages. Way to cripple the baton passer. That's awesome. He's on his job, so he send out Wolver. Use that all you want. Still not going to attack. How will this newly switch up Pokemon fare? It's better protected against physical attack. Yeah. What this? So what? Oh, that's a miss. Four double teams in, it's gonna miss. We gotta expect it. Use baton pack. Other Pokemon take over the battle. All right, what is it? Oh, it's smoking. Okay. Well, hell of a hard time hitting us. Oh, that. Look, that missed. Yep. A uh, hot battle is unfolding. Go Thunder, go. Oh. And it hits. Wow. There's the attack. Right off. Well, Psychic hit too, but. Jeez, but look with Thunder. That's 70 to accuracy to start with. I don't know what we're facing. What kind of odds? Thunder again. And it hits! Four double teams! That is unreal! That luck is unreal! Glimmer defying the odds! Oh no, not you again. I really wish I laid spikes, but whatever. It's time to get yours. We're gonna just surf. Right after the curl. I gotta set that up. Oh, two surfs. Wow. And a paralysis. Wow. Oh my god, what a reversal of fortune. Now if this hits, I'll be floored. Another critical hit. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. That's unreal. Considering what this team has been through, that's a blessing. Okay, now we just gotta cripple the Lapras. Who doesn't know Surf for some reason. Okay. We just paralyze and just keep it up. We're doing this because we need Thunder to hit. It has a focus band too. Wow. Paralysis. Confusion. Thunder hit? Yes! Aha! It's a view no 
no more. Big deal. I'm not even, I don't even care that we're paralyzed. We just need one more thunder hit. Either that or I still think he dies. That's okay. I can totally switch to Napalm right now. Even if it looks like this. That's the skier team. Wow. What an incredible run of luck here. I hate relying on luck to win, but when it works, it works. Then again, my opponents are also kind of relying on some luck for them to win, too. This is it, the final battle in the Prime Cup. The male Pokemon team finally made it. I don't know how, but they did. Well, let's hope it's a quick one. Marty usually sends out Mew. And you don't want him to use this Tyrannosaurus. Thing is amazingly bulky. So I'm gonna use Dave Dumadome withstand much of anything. There's Mew. Oh, he's oh, gonna well, switch well, out, well, huh? Oh, it's my well, I lay down spikes. Oh, spikes. Got spike all now let's hope um, well, I thought about switching, but it also has Earthquake. Uh, and I can't afford to use uh, lose glimmer. So I mean, I could use poison like toxic. This Pokemon is switching up. I don't know. I th really think I should have toughed it out there. Oh, it's Lantern! What happened? Oh, Batman! Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Pokemon it has fan. it has uh, fire blast. So oh, that that can one shot us. Okay, we got one surf in. Earthquake hurts. A lot of attack power. We just need the quick claw not to kick in. And it does. There goes Glimmer. Oh man, this battle's over. This battle's over already. That will bring out a new Pokemon. I mean, it's only, it has to be Dewey. All we have to go off of is Ice Beam. I mean, I could try Cursing. It did about 70. So, this is going to eat up um, my Mint Berry because I have to rest this turn. No, that didn't connect. Or count on the lucky miss of a rock slide. Take your pick. Uh, I was in between. But I really think rest is the best move right now. Oh, I see what I was going for. Raise, raise defense. We are so screwed. Crunch is gonna hurt. A lot. The target is weakened further. Oh no, 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 we are we are so done. Alright, well the good news is we have spikes out and we can switch to Fortress. Which is definitely what we have to do. That way Dumadum can just explode. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. 
What do I do? Oh, that doesn't do much. What impact will this Pokemon switch have on the battle? Kaboom! A massive explosion! That's a big step! There goes the view, oh, and now it's one on one. Dewey versus I don't know. Both Pokemon faced simultaneously. This was a whole new spin on the battle. The Pokemon open to reveal its Pokemon. Oh, I thought this that was hers for a second. Or his for a second. Oh, it's Ursa nope, it's Ursa Ring. Oh, no. Boasting all that power and leftovers. It's just one on one now. And here comes Hyper Beam. Nice. There are no more remaining Pokemon. I could have missed. I could have cursed up. I needed too much to go right. Well, that's another loss. But the first in this cup, I'm kind of surprised. They made it all the way to the final battle. With no losses. Let's see how Trial 2 goes. I'm going with my same picks. I knew I had it right. I just don't know if they could defeat that particular combination. They go into battle. Okay, this is new because Mew let us put down spikes and it didn't switch off. Thunder Punch, fine. Can't flinch us. We're just gonna explode. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I should have rapid spun. They're ready to go. I mean, doing Glimmer. Oh, it's Lantern. Hello, it's I don't know. Now's the time to attack. I think I read that Glimmer actually has faster speed. No. I thought it was faster than Lickitung. There it goes. Uh -oh. this is wrong for this route? That is awful. Right, that's yes, Things are going it. south that's terribly it. again. What Pokemon will appear next? Oh, it's Umbreon! Okay. Um... Oh, Umbreon's okay. We can wear him down. Two Pokemon remain on each side. Here comes a Pokemon switch. Let's hope he uses Shadow Ball. Oh, it's Ziggy Cup! What do we do? There's a cleansing blow. But at least we found something that's not speedy. And it's something too we can take on easily. It's just gonna take a bit. Because we're gonna and curse up. Curse number two. Not going to Excellent. They both up. Now, that? We still couldn't that? take on a Starmie or Tyranitar. <laughs> Whatever's left. Quite possibly the muck. Yeah, Dumbrian's just getting too weak. Press it off. Then unleash hell. Nope. Gotta go through hellfire first. Overcame the confusion and critical hit. Wow, that did a lot. Who needs paralysis when it knocks him out? Almost. I'd rather him be confused um, and just like get over it. The hit glance right off. Aha! It's confused no more! Might as well curse it's up again. Speed to raise its power. The heated action continues. How's that? A light pack. Oh, a curse up one more time. 
One Pokemon is still capable of going off. We just need one time. good swing of luck. Lickitung just has to attack and overcome confusion. There's a big HP difference between the two combats. What's this? That was a cleansing blow. It's wow, I don't think I've ever seen Pain Attack get a quick head. It's just weird. So it's as if he just used it three times. And I'm confused, so... Can't handle that. Gotta rest up again. Aha! It's confused no more! It sacrificed speed to raise its power! Not going for Confuse Ray, huh? Well, you regret that. Oh, a great move! One Pokemon is still capable of going up, but the other one looks tired. How many Confuse Rays you got left? Ah, it can't move! There's a big HP difference between the two combatants. What's up? That was a glancing blow. It still won't wake up. The announcer's so still very the into it. What fire. now? What's this? <laughs> What's this? The hit glanced right off. It woke up. Okay, we got the hit. This is it. We overcame confusion. After the umpteenth turn. Tell me you haven't been there. Much stepping on spikes. All we need is one good body slam. We're not even afraid of this sludge bomb. Wow, that did so little, actually. Come on, let's go. Oh, it did a ton. It did a ton. Let's knock it out. No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Focus band here? Well, I'm not leaving one on the table. I don't care. Dewey's gonna take a rest. You stay that way. He may have screeched, but oh, actually that might really help him. I just need to wake up. Not even close to doing anything decent. All right, this is it. Feel thy tongue. Wow. Isn't it fitting? Like it's on his body slam. That's how we ended this. So fitting. The Pokefan has conquered the Prime Cup and all cups. Wow. What can you even say about this ungodly slow team? Fighting luck and going second all the time is maddening. This is definitely one of the teams I have truly hated and trying to win with them in real time honestly felt like a chore. I really don't care if Lantern and Dewey were the heroes all the time. A team shouldn't be relying on two soul members. Granted, one of these Pokemon on a decent team might be okay as a niche use, elementally speaking, but who honestly goes about touting the battle prowess of a Sunflora and a Macargo? A clueless fanboy, that's who. And thankfully, he'll have learned some things when we use his Master Ball team. If I'm being honest, I think his record should have shown more than three losses because we've been tempting fate every battle. It honestly just worked out that way. But you know who doesn't need luck who happens to be another fanboy? The Pokemaniac from Pokecup Great Ball. He is the 18th in the series, and what a victory lap this will be. I cannot wait until his team thrashes this Poke Daddy team, among others, starting with the Pokeball round in the Poke Cup next time. As always, I am Vcount Kdub. Thank you for watching the Pokemon Trainer Gauntlet. I really mean it. Please subscribe and like to be updated on all the new videos. And I guess that even by following the worst fad, even a Poke fan can become a Pokemon master. Until next time, everybody.